Daddy, he got me out of my sack. Well, since I'm out, I might as well tell you where I've been. It's been about a month, and I've been in the sack for half of that time. I was in a kind of weird place. I might as well pick some place pretty to tell you about it. Well, it seems when I left Chicago, I left two of my very good friends on the counter, Ralph and Fred. And then when I got home, I realised they were gone. So I called the hotel to see if they would go look for them. Yes. Yes, there were coaching jobs. We were in the 14th floor in 1422. They look just like cotton swabs, both of them. The answer to the names Ralph and Fred. Ralph and Fred? Yes, could you check? Could you give me that room number again? Yes, we were in 1422. What do they look like again? Cotton swabs. A very popular brand would be Q-Tip. Why am I looking for Q-Tips? They are my friends. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Monkey. That's kind of crazy. They're what? They're in the trash by now. You're joking! Oh my god! They've been thrown away! Can I speak to the manager? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I just can't talk to you right now. As you can tell, that did not work out very well. So, because the hotel told me that they would be in the garbage, I, I, I went looking through a bunch of garbage cans and I got quite smelly. I tried finding a garbage man to tell me where to find my, my friend, my coaching swabs. But when I did, he told me that there would be no luck and yet they would be recycled. Well, the fellas are doing some singing. They, they walk down the street like that and sing all of the time here. I like it because it's free music. I think it's called hip hop. Well, when I found out that my friends were going to be recycled, you can imagine, I was very distraught. I would never see Fred and Ralph again. They were my companions on the way to this house. They're my oldest friends in the world. I love dandelions. These purple flowers have come without any bidding whatsoever. It's as if they came to let me know that the spring is going to be okay. And a Ralph and Fred are too. It actually is giving me a wonderful idea. A formal goodbye is necessary. You are invited. There will be a reception after. We are gathered here today under the solemnness of the green visor to say goodbye to our departed friends, Ralph and Fred. They served us well as companions and confidants, and now they will be recycled into the great beyond. We hope that they may be fortunate enough to come back as maybe a greeting card, or some sort of packaging, or maybe even a Chinese or diacal menu. 
Whatever they do return us, they always will remain my friends forever. Thank you for coming. There will be refreshments available in the front garden if you like red mulch and marigolds. The lady says not to touch them, but I don't think she's going to notice because she hasn't been keeping up with the weeding. So that's why I've been absent. It's taken me quite a lot of time to come to terms with things and understand how things go. But I'm okay with it now. Well, this one's kind of shorter than that one. They remind me of Fred and Ralph quite a bit because Ralph was just a little touch shorter than Fred. You're lovely, you are, Dandy. Oh, look at Lenny. He wants to come outside. Hello, Lenny. Hello. He's aloof because he's jealous. Hi, Lenny. Lenny, over here. Uh, open. Oh, uh, Lenny.